everybody. I'm going to make this video for instructions for your vocabulary story. This is due Monday, August 24th. So this slideshow is found on Google Classroom. So the first several slides, I put the template. So this is where if you need help, if you can't really think of a story on your own, I've given you what you can do for each word. And then I have my example. So in this video, I'm going to go over the template and then I'm going to go over my example. All right, so for this story, you are writing one sentence for each word. Now, I say one sentence for each word, but if you want to, you can write a little bit more to kind of make it flow together like a story. But the minimum requirement is one sentence per word. Now, when I say minimum requirement, I'm not saying you're going to get a lower grade if you do this. I'm just trying to let people who want to write more, write more. So our words are culture, odyssey, epic, accentuate, and alliteration. So by the time you're done, you should have at least five sentences. The first one should use culture, second odyssey, third epic, fourth accentuate, fifth alliteration. Now, if as you're writing your story, you want to flip the order, that's fine. As long as you have all five words and at least one sentence per word. Okay, so culture. I was thinking like a way to help you guys write a story. Your story could be focused about a culture that you're interested in. So, for example, I've always been really interested in like any ancient culture. So like ancient Egypt, ancient Africa, ancient Greece, like just anything ancient interests me. So you could introduce a culture you are fascinated by and explain why. So I could say like I've always been interested in ancient cultures because I find it so fascinating what life was like before technology, you know, and that way, you know, using the word culture. Next sentence, describe a real or imagined odyssey to learn more about that culture. So I could say, after quarantine is over, I decided that I'm going to go on an odyssey and I'm going to travel through Central Europe and down through Africa. That would be great. I'm not actually going to do that, but that would be awesome. So that would be my odyssey. I'm going to go on an odyssey traveling by plane and boat and ship to go through Central Europe and then Africa, tracing the path of my ancestors. Epic. Okay, so your third sentence, you could describe something epic that you find or do. So you could say, like, it would be an epic journey to hike up the Caucasus Mountains that I know my ancestors lived in at some point thousands of years ago. Then accentuate. This one, um, just you could look into the, the culture that you've decided you want to write about. Um, describe a noticeable or prominent discovery or element of the culture. So... Um, like, if I just use ancient Egypt as an example, I could say, like, um, their use of mummies and their elaborate funeral rites accentuates their belief in the afterlife. Um, just something like that. So think about the culture that you're interested in and what's something they do and what is something that is accentuated by that. You could also um, maybe focus on yourself and, you know, maybe your curiosity about whatever culture accentuates some aspect of yourself. This is the hardest sentence, but, you know, just give it a try. And then the last sentence, alliteration. So alliteration is a literary term. So instead of just using alliteration in a sentence, using the word, I thought it would be fun to use the device alliteration. So, um... What I mean by that is, like, just use several words that start with the same letter in your last sentence. You can make it fun. It could be the fun conclusion to your story. All right, so now I'm going to show you my example story. I'm just going to read it to you. I have always wondered about the culture of my ancestors. I know very little about where they came from and even less about who they were. I wonder what they ate, what they did, and what they believed. So see, I have my sentence about 
that uses culture. And then I just elaborated a little bit more because I wanted to make mine more like a story. My odyssey to uncover my ancestry began while I was in college. I started by asking my parents, who knew very little, and then my grandparents, who didn't have much to add. Digging through old boxes of photos and newspaper clippings, I found a report my great-grandfather had compiled, which I had devoured. It's a true story. My great-grandfather, way back in like the 60s, had done some research into our ancestry and like had a report in a binder. Then I sent a DNA sample to National Genographic, a project that is now defunct. Sadly, they stopped. When the results came back, I had an epic map showing how my ancestors migrated over thousands of years, tracing how they traveled north out of Africa and moved into Eastern Europe and Western Asia. It's true. They gave me like this whole map and it was epic because it like was it, like, spanned thousands of years. Unfortunately, I still knew very little about who my ancestors were. Then, in 2016, when my grandmother died, I received an email accentuated by the title, Hi Cousin, from a man I had never heard from or about. Who is this? I'd never heard of this person. I opened the email, eager and excited to extend my family. There's my alliteration. Email, eager, excited, extend. Boom. Okay? I used alliteration. Could have stopped there, but I just decided to, like, wrap up my story. And that's how I learned that I have a large amount of distant cousins in Luxembourg through my great, 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 great grandfather, Pierre Klein. When I called my father to tell him the news, he said, that's a scam. Don't give him any money. If this, my new cousin, was reaching out for money, he was reaching out to the wrong people. And that's how I knew he was really my relative. I still do not know much about the culture of my ancestors, but at least now I know what to Google. So it's true. Um, I found out that I have relatives in Luxembourg, and it's a teeny tiny country I didn't really know that much about. I looked it up. I actually thought my family was French and German, and Luxembourg is right by France and Germany. So it kind of makes sense. Anyway, so that's my little story. If you need help, I have a template. You don't have to use the template. You can go your own way, or you can and the most important thing about this story is just to practice using the words and try to have fun. Um, this is meant to be a learning experience. If something goes wrong, we'll all learn together. Um, I don't want this to like super stress you out. I would like you to have fun with it. So if you wanted to add pictures or do anything, um, I just I kind of want you to, with this class, I really want you to explore your creativity, create things, you know, just kind of try some things out, have some fun. Okay? I hope you like it. We'll see. We're learning together. Still haven't found the stop button. Still trying to stop this video, y'all. Here we go.